politics and power so this idea of power is beginning to take shape power vis-a-vis -vis force the people always control the power but for the power to be maintained force comes into the picture on the previous program we spoke about people voluntarily voting and when the vote is given to the people who assume our power to maintain that power if they do not operate in a way that we the people like the force that is used to manage it force which was designed to protect the people from other influences is now being used to protect the city-state from the people now there are times when force was used or is merited to be used against the people for instance civil war and other matters of strife that cause humanity to act up force can be used to fix those matters but force was never designed to be used to protect the city against the people in fact it has been but force which is so designed is negative force there must be force but it must be used in a positive way now that this point has been made clear let me illustrate how force is sometimes used to usurp the authority of power as was discussed on the previous program the people exercise their franchise to vote and the state players are empowered by that vote when the people must meet with those state players somewhere in the nation the people go out using their symbols their colors their ensigns making merry but the state player who come to meet with the people come with force or they come with reserved force which they are intending to use should who the people get out of line because let us look at it why would there be security forces around officials who wield power it is to take care of the power should you the people decide to in some cases even question the power that is it there is no magic trick about it this is simply it it is reserved for us in many cases for the maintenance of the power that these officials hold but the people who transferred the power to those state actors do not have that force they do not need it let me make another illustration to drive that point home in terms of force vis-a-vis -vis power individual x appears at the magistrate court and he or she is charged with an offense and is found guilty of that offense the magistrate sentences that individual to five years in prison the individual has no choice but to give in to the forces which are present to be taken to the prison but say for instance the individual in question was the only one there in the court at the time with the judge and the judge passes down the sentence to that individual do you think that individual would voluntarily just go to the prison obviously not the fact is there is force in place they are armed police officers in and outside of the court and their structures of state with the trappings of force to enforce the law to arrest the power and put it under subjection i am simply trying to illustrate the difference between force and power so i do not say that the use of force is not necessary no is it right or is it wrong i am simply saying that the power which the individual has differs from the force which is used to keep that power under control to suppress to submit to manage to justify to organize whatever word is being used remember that force is not power and it does not always equate power sometime power is even stronger than the mightiest force politics and power